Peace and Quiet. Henry and the other mainline engines have been working so hard that their axles ache. The fat controller brought in a new engine to help with the heavy workload. He was long and had 10 drive wheels. He looked very strong. This is Murdoch. He's going to be pulling freight on the main line. Hello, Murdoch. You're the biggest engine I ever seen, cried Thomas. You are a chatty engine, Murdoch said quietly. Soon Murdoch was coupled to a long, long line of heavy trucks. His boiler strained, his wheels started to turn, and the mighty engine chuffed away. Murdoch longed for some peace and quiet. But everywhere he went, it was very noisy. At the end of the day, Murdoch was looking forward to a good night's rest. But some engines were full of questions. What's the longest train you ever pulled? said Harvey. Had you ever crashed? said Arthur. Please, I want some peace and quiet and I don't want to share a shed with chatterboxes. Well, you don't need to be rude, half Harvey. We're only being friendly, said Arthur. The next morning, Murdoch collected another long, heavy train. This time, he chuffed into the beautiful countryside. It was splendid. At last, he had some peace and quiet. Suddenly, he saw sheep on the line. Murdoch's driver applied the brakes. The sheep escaped from that field, said the driver, through that broken fence. The driver and fireman tried to chase the sheep back. First this way, and then that way. They tried everything, but nothing worked. We'll never move these sheets by ourselves, complained the fireman. I'll go and phone for help, sighed the driver. Murdoch was very unhappy. The noisy sheep were spoiling his peace and quiet. The fat control was about to have his afternoon tea when he got the call. Sheep? I'll send Toby with the farmer immediately. The sheep were becoming noisier and noisier. Please stop, groaned Murdoch. I'd rather be back with the chatterbox engines. Just then, Toby chuffed into view. Toby, I'm certainly glad to see you. Before long, the farmer and his dog went to work, and the sheep were soon safely back in their field, and Murdoch was on his way again. Thank you, Toby. You're welcome, Murdoch. That evening, Murdoch parked between Harvey and Arthur, but Murdoch spoke first. I'm sorry I was cross. I'm very pleased to share a shed with you. And we're pleased to have your company, said Harvey. Yes, we are, said Arthur. Murdoch smiled. The sound of bar bar would have kept him awake, but a talk with his friends would send him happily to sleep. <laughs>